Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker with me, Barden. Okay, I'm hoping that there is an improvement in the audio because I'm using my new microphone. I'm not using the full setup at the moment. I'm still waiting on a cable that I've ordered that will link some of the equipment up together. But hopefully the, at least this change has improved a bit. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to have a look around. Is this part? No, I don't think it is. I want to see if there's anything else that we need to do on the puzzle. Maybe there's over this side, maybe. Let's go check over here. <coughs> Let's go over this way. Oh, we have to level the guys up as well. Good for you. Right, so let's do your level up. Okay, uh, let's do that. Okay, and then next. Okay, so we could increase your, let's increase your constitution. Oh, oh. I'm looking at, I thought I had points to spend, I don't. Okay, <laughs> we use points over here to spend. Right, so then it's going to be athletics, mobility, persuasion, and I guess lower nature. Okay, on we go. <coughs> so we got weapon focus, we got point blank shot. Okay, I want to do... Your allies' eyes are your own, and your yours are his benefit while you are flanked and adjacent to an ally. Okay. Coordinate defense. Coordinate maneuver. Your skill at working. With your allies perform dangerous combat maneuvers. Benefit whenever you are adjacent to an ally who also has his feet. You receive plus two competence bonus on all combat. Yeah, let's go for that. <coughs> Okay, and then that's completed. Okay, next. Right, let's do your level up. Cleric, please. I only know it's here that you can actually see this spell. So, infinite cantrips, seven level one, five level two, four level three, and three level four. Okay, and then you have, let's see, Law Religion is definitely a good one for you. And then Knowledge Arcana, I guess. Okay, then you get to get a feat. Okay, so. Die Hard doesn't have the following feature. Orc Ferocity. Oh, that's a prerequisite. Okay. You're especially hard to kill when you hit the point. Okay. Mm. Metal Focus. Your spells of a certain element are more difficult to resist. Okay. Um, no. You don't really... Like, I thought there were going to be ones for, for healing or some kind of fate type thing, but not really... Let's go through what else we have. Extra channel, cleric. Well, this sounds like a good thing for you. What does it do? You can challenge LNG two additional times per day. Okay, cool. Let's see that. And then complete that. My skills then are getting rusty. Next. Well, we're going to help you with that, hopefully. By leveling you up. Okay, so let's complete that. And Lindsay was and called for. Me to you. Let's level you up. Yes, Bard, please. Right, so you five trickery. 
stealth, uh, your knowledge, definitely. Then use of magic device, I guess. Okay, and then on we go. Right, so what feet are you gonna have? Want one that maybe is is the one sparks uh, specific maybe? Okay, they're the ones you already have. Don't use any of those. Okay, so one of these two. Weapon finesse. Okay. Now you get some new spells. Okay. Flare burst. This spell functions as flare, except it affects all creatures in a 10 foot radius. Flare, this counter creates a burst of light. If you cause the light to burst in front of a single creature, this creature is dazzled for one minute unless it makes a successful fortitude save. Sightless creatures are... Okay, so that maybe... Would that help against that guy? Okay, now, cure serious wounds, deep slumber. Feather step. Good hope. This spell instills power, okay. Let's see, see invisibility slow, summon monster three, thundering drums, confusion, crushing despair, pure serious wounds, I think will be good. And I guess summon, summon monster three. Okay, and then let's continue on. That's you done. Well. Next is Amiri. Okay, let's level you up. Barbarian again, please. Okay, so you're going to get athletics, mobility, lower nature, and perception. Okay, then power attack. Wow, maybe with power attack, that's scary. Okay, complete that. I will and then finally, Ekun. I think he's on auto, so. Yeah, here we go. Right, let's go, people. Let's check what's over here. Seems like the perfect place to maybe hide something or someone. Yes, yeah, something over here. Okay, we got soot blackened gloves and then that. What's this? The loot taken from neighboring villages is piled here in a heap of trash. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's pop in here. Oh, hi there. Far Borba here. Borba won't kill daddy. Why kill daddy, Borba? Echo winches. W winches. Rock trolls smaller than Cargad. The trolls who have just appeared seemingly from nowhere look small, though they are small only in comparison to a mature rock troll. Their height equals the height of a grown man. But they're only kids. <laughs> Borba won't kill daddy. Borba Garung. Borba bad. Ekon suddenly raises his bow. The trolls don't run away. Instead they stare at him with offended expressions. Won't Kill us too, Borba. <clears throat> Let's see. Wait, Ekon. It was Kargad who murdered your family and not his children. They stand innocent before you. Killing them now will make you the very thing you loathe. 
lower your bow before it's too late. After several strained seconds, Ekon does as commanded, if half-heartedly. You are here to help my vengeance. Oh, you, he mutters, almost as if reminded, reminding himself. Let's go now. Don't want to see them anymore. He nods in the direction of the rock trolls. Okay. Oh, hi. You're not a kid. Karga the Okay, well let's get Karga then. And tear him apart. Ow. Oh, he didn't last very long. The troll utters a hoarse sound that falls thunderously. Dark, sticky blood oozes from his wounds. He tries to raise his hands to defend himself, but is able only to clench his fist. He snaps his jaw in one last effort to devour you. Suddenly he goes still. Done. Ekon sighs, lowering his bow. You are not sure if he's talking about the troll's death, about his completed vengeance, or about his own mental state. In the dim light, it seems to you that Ekon's eyes lose their usual spark. Several wrinkles seem to appear from his forehead. The ranger comes closer to the defeated troll and stares at the corpse with contempt. His lips are pressed in a thin line, his fists clenched, and his knuckles are white. Without a word, Ekon raises his leg and delivers a great kick into the side of the rock troll. This effort must have been painful for the ranger, but not a single muscle moves in his face. His expression is a frozen mask of rage and suffering, and the pain from the hit fades in comparison. Done, Ekon repeats quietly, turning to you. Thank you, friend. You help. Your help was priceless. He shrugs. From now on, your questions will be answered. If you still want them, you deserve that. Okay, well, we'll talk to you later because there is some stuff that we want to check around here. So we're not going to kill the kids. There probably is, like, especially if they're evil, there's probably a... A, um, option to do that okay well let's see it a bit closer up so we have a key bronze dwarven key we have gold coins torex pendant some honey some trout some nice trout good okay this room is filled with the sickening stench of carrion okay well we're gonna move on from the carrion thank you Okay, we've got some cobalt artist. Okay. Hey there, buddy. He's probably going to tell us about his Patreon now or something, is he? An odd cobalt sits in front of the wall. His scales, snout, and especially hands are covered with something akin to a blend of tar and what seems to be rancid, mud-coloured filth. Occasionally, the cobalt plunges his hands into the clay pot, nestled beside him, grabs a handful of paint and slowly smears it on the wall. Judging by the odour, I can tell exactly what the main ingredient in this paint is. At least it looks better than the paintings King Ibrati war awards his prizes to. The unintelligible smear gradually resolves into a crude drawing of a huge cobalt striking a heroic pose. There are many smaller figu figures surrounding him, but you can't tell who they might be. The cobalt continues with his strokes. He doesn't seem to have noticed you, or perhaps he's just too lost in his work. <clears throat> oh, let's actually watch him and see what he does. The cobalt continues in a strange state that seems to be somewhere between deep meditation and a trance. He raises his paint-smeared hands to the wall, makes a small and deliberate stroke, then steps back to examine his creation as a whole. Hey, can you hear me? The cobalt slowly turns to you. He can't read the expression on his snout, but he certainly doesn't seem pleased. Shh! 
share bars of his gah? Cause there are Tartuk. The cobalt points towards the painting. Tartuk! He repeats before turning away. This Tartuk again. It's like he's everywhere. I'm sick of hearing that name. I fear I've developed a conditioned response every time I hear Tartuk. I feel a need to vomit. Can you tell me about Tartuk? It seems the kobold has told you all he intends to. He shows no reaction to your further questions. How can I find Tartuk? Okay, uh, let's try this one then. Alright, go on painting. Lovely picture, by the way. See you, buddy. Uh, we should actually check over here. There doesn't seem to be anything, though. Okay. Let's just quickly check the map. Oh, there are some things that we could have looted. Look. So, let's just quickly go back this way. In. So, something around here. And a couple of things. Oh, okay. Is it the... No, it's not. But let's see what's in there anyway. That looks like maybe from a horse or something. It better be not. Right, wait. It'd be better to not ascertain what or whom this stew is made of. Okay. So don't don't look too closely. Where is the? Okay, it should be right here. Not seeing anything. And then it says the next one is somewhere. The next one should be right there. But whatever it is, I'm not seeing anything. But there's a door there, though. We should definitely check that. Okay. There's a chest here. Okay, so we got Dwarven Helm, Shard, some Divine Power. Okay. And then whatever this is. So scroll of fireball and a torx pendant. Okay, and then Right, so there should be something to loot right there. Oh, another door. How do we miss all these doors? Oh this Yeah, it's uh, a dwarven corpse. Dying Dwarf. Oh, he's not even dead. You see a pile of mutilated bodies reaching nearly to the ceiling. The bodies used to be humans, dwarves, cows, sheep, and God knows what else. Some corpses look fresh. Others have already started to decompose. Filling the passage with a heavy, sickening stench. The trolls probably used this corner as a meat storage. You're ready to pass by, but suddenly you notice some weak movement near the edge of the pile. Have me a closer look. You understand one of the corpses is not exactly a corpse yet. A bare-chested dwarf moves his lips silently, staring blindly at the ceiling. His chest has some bite marks, left by a huge jaw, and he's no legs. They seem to have been bitten off at the knee. Amiri grunts in disapproval, caressing the hilt of her sword. Well, she's actually got an axe now, but whatever. I suppose she still has a sword, though. It feels wrong to finish him off. He fights death itself. This battle is his. Let's leave this miserable suffered, sufferer alone. He's on the verge of non-existence. So let him take his own last step into oblivion. Ekin pulls an arrow from the quiver. Mercy, he says, pointing towards the dying dwarf. Let's examine the dying dwarf. The dwarf definitely looks like he will not make it. He has lost a lot of blood and his horrible wounds would have killed any other person long ago. The fact that he still clings to life is either a miracle or his own unthinkable stubbornness. We're not gonna heal uh, we're not gonna finish him off. I'm gonna try heal him. Your healing efforts have an effect of sorts. The dwarf seems to come halfway to life and starts talking in an unknown language. Karadash, Kramer, Doug, Gadalon. The light around you 
grows dim all of a sudden and the floor starts to tremble, resonating with the dwarf's voice. Osmar Cyril Nadrak. Harm's hands clenched at his beard. The ancient dwarven tongue? The curse of Thorag? O oh, Grotus, embrace your faithful servant. We shall, we shall all die now. Harm's voice is half scared and half excited. You've had all the fun you wanted, I hope. What are you looking at? Finish him off now, before he's done casting. Mm. Neutral good, try... Uh. Let's see this and finish him off as quickly as possible. The dwarf dies quickly and quietly. He leaves his body, hoping his soul will find peace wherever it is now. Okay, and we can't loot him, but there is some loot here that I guess he had. Scroll of Bless. And then there's some supplies. Okay, and on the nature of the divine, we might read that at some point as well. Oh, and we need some what healing, apparently. You? Well, what I'd like you to do is to maybe cure some other wounds. Yes, yes. The end draws near. I stand ready. Adventures call to that. Stealth. Art, no, no, we definitely don't want to turn you into AI. So I'm wondering where the rest of her spells, her new spells are. Because there's no. There's no. Um, oh, it's over here then, I guess. No? Yes. Ah, there we are. Okay. So she got. There's a flare burst. Oh, where are you going? She got a flare burst, rapid shot. Inspire confidence, inspire courage could be good as well. Uh, fighting defense, whole person, bark skin. I'm not seeing the cure serious wounds though. Or the sum amounts of three. Ear piercing scream, cure light wounds. Cure moderate wounds and no cure. Okay. Well, actually, anything is possible. What do I hear? Ah, there they are. Okay. I think there's flare burst, cause fear, sleep, cure light. No, they're not actually there. But they should be in under the third level. Okay, she doesn't have any any use of them. Because I think we probably have to rest again, maybe, for her to get those. Okay, that's fine. Or maybe she used them in the fight and I didn't notice. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's move on. But uh, maybe with everyone, not just her. Okay, so we can go by. That dude. Leave him to his lovely painting. Hi there. Nah, we're gonna grant your death. Oh, you lucky. Okay, yeah, he didn't last very long. There's more in here though. We should move. We should move. You're right. Hmm. Running didn't help him. Let's actually take it all. Onwards. Okay, and then... Oh, hi there, troll buddies. Can you make an I need inspiration. Okay, I'm dead. Too dead. And three dead. Okay. And Lindsay was called forth. 
he was indeed. Okay, let's check the loot. Take those. Okay, so here's the other one. What are the symbols? So it's like a fish, kind of a lightning, an F, and a W or an M. Okay. So maybe there's a clue somewhere about how we should set them. No, oh, that's not what they saw. What did they spot? Ah. Yeah, there's something down there. Or there is something apparently right here. Ah, yeah, this looks like it might be they saw. Okay, your cure load wounds. Okay, and that's going in there. Okay. So this puzzle, I think we only got two. So, Ekon, why not you go over here to this one? I guess if we get them lined up right, it'll hopefully give us a message that we did do it right. So no, there's not really much else we can do, apart from having people stationed around the place. That there though looks a bit strange, the way it's out of the floor. Maybe we're gonna uncover, is there something similar on this side? Not really, no. Unless he's on one. But maybe we're going to uncover something. I think he's almost here. He's just taking his time. Yeah. Here you go, buddy. Was he actually walking instead of running? That's why it took you forever. Okay. So what are the symbols on here? Are they the same? It looks like, because that's the fish. Okay. Let's go on there and on this side. Let's grab. I'll make my own legend. You can do it. And let's cycle through on these. start then you turn on again I tire of waiting okay and you cycle through these hope there isn't another one somewhere Thank God. okay go for the next one this is my this the last path. one Keep 
your eyes open. You keep your eyes open too. Okay, so that didn't. Hmm. Didn't seem to do anything. I stand ready. Let's just give it one more turn around over here. Okay, I'm not sh Maybe there's another one, we'll have to figure it out another time though. Because we're gonna pop in there and see what the story is. Actually, since it's taken him forever to run around, I'm going to bring him back over here. I'm just going to very quickly look this up. Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be coming back trying again later if there is another is he i think he's still going that way come back here yeah he is i don't want the um to realize that there there's another one and what i was doing would never work anyway is there something down here maybe that would help us though wait what's this it's not there See what that is. And then have it there. Uh, no, I can't read any of them. Okay, so that one should be like that. We should move. Then what's to see? Yeah, the bottom one needs to be showing the symbol that looks like a fish. Okay, I think you're the bottom one. mushrooms there apparently and oh we didn't loot Cargad right so uh, I suppose you go loot Cargad But the thing that, oh, I think I know where. It said something about statues. So it's not here. Is there now something here that we can loot, maybe? Well, she, she or Ekon can come check here, I guess. I like I saw it. Good. Now, can you loot him, please? It looks like we already loot him, though. Or maybe we just checked him and didn't take what he had. Okay, and then there are some mushrooms here. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. 
Thank you for those. And then I guess that's where the loot is. Okay. Be on guard. How do we get down there though? That can't be what we revealed, is it? No, I think that was already on the map. Right, so... Outside, no statues. Over here, no statues. Okay, I guess maybe here, in this room. Let's bring Lindsay across as well. Nope, not seeing anything new, so everyone can head on back up this way, I guess. March on. And then we're gonna pop in there then. Well, I guess I'll just go looking for that on my own later. We'll take that, thank you. Leave. And then we're gonna have a quick go at this fight and see what happens to us. We're down a level now. We need to try something else. Okay, so let's go find the key then. This is not the way it works. Really? That needs a key? No, that needs a key too. We found a bunch of keys, didn't we? We found a bunch of dwarven keys, I thought. Portable, usable. Have a keyable. Where are you? Steel Dwarven key. Okay. I need Got something on your else. Belt. Mm hmm. This doesn't suit me. I need something else. Hmm. 
Huh. I failed. I I'm sorry. I was sure we were going to run into those guys. Okay. Well, let's go back up. So maybe we find a key on the other side. And the keys that we have now are just not for for this part. Okay. And maybe he's a lot further in than I'm thinking he is. Right, so it means that we have to make our way over here again. seeing any any statues other than the one that got destroyed one of those rooms okay Okay, everyone's here. Well, almost, but let's pop in. Okay, we leave that. Okay. In we pop. Hello there. <laughs> wow, you got destroyed. And so did you. Okay, let's try skinning. No stopping Take everything. Now. Although we won't really want the gold. Good. Okay, these are pearls and an exquisite pearl. Cool. door here needs a key everyone needs a key All right on we go this is not the way it works well something has to work there we go It feels like we're being railroaded at the moment into where we're supposed to go. Cobalt Sentinel. Jazon, you see a troll who looks familiar. He was the one who greeted you at the Lair's entrance. You believe his name was Jazon, and he and some other trolls are surrounded by the gang of kobolds. Ah, oh, look. Now I see what's going on with the puzzles upstairs. There's the fish. Noticing you, Jazon turns and bursts his teeth. Borba came already. You like killing Troll and Cobalt, Borba. Now Jazon kill you. His muscles bulge under his thick pelt, and his eyes are dark with anger. You killed many people, plundered many villages, and now you have to answer for your crimes. If Borba kill Borba, you punish him. You not kill his whole family. The troll looks at you and snarls with contempt. 
We kill you now, Bora. But we no beasts anymore. We no eat your corpse. We bury it in some place. Let other Bora come to that place. Kobold. Run. Trolls. Der Borba. The trolls roar loudly. So loudly dust falls from the ceiling. Several kobolds heat jazz on and run, but the rest gather beside the trolls. A withered kobold clad in a stained rug steps forward. Men's tartuk menaces, he hisses. Tartuk kobolds peace. Men's debts. Okay. Uh, we probably need to kill what you. Waste. Okay, now. You're in a bit of trouble, so... Let's go to the LM3. Get to usable. Give you a couple of these. And then let's give her a couple as well because she's gonna get herself in trouble pretty soon. Okay, then use that. I thought it might have been like someone up above or something throwing stuff down us. Okay, let's get our lead on. Thanks for that. And then over here. Cheers. Now, keep going. Or can we keep going actually? Oh, yeah, we can. Door here. Look ahead. Oh, interesting. Okay. Nice. Also nice. Oh, very nice. Light crossbow. Just a light crossbow, but it looks to have some kind of significance to it. Let's see. Shock like crossbow plus one. And you've got what? I like, okay, so that's better for you. So you switch to that. And then quickly check the map. Okay, we left something there. Where exactly? Right in front of us. Ah, there it is. Okay, and it's a Dwarven Helm chart. Nice. Okay, then we go through here. Probably get ourselves in another fight. You see that? Yeah, I do now. Come on, Lindsay. We will applaud you. Sure. Nice. You can thank me now. Something here. Okay, thank you. Scroll of acid arrow. Can hopefully open this now. So that brought us to okay. Hasn't quite gone this over either side yet. Continue up this way. Lindsay hopefully does her thing, doesn't blow herself or anyone else up. It's just not my lucky day. Okay, well, be luckier Applause, then. Please. Okay, clap, clap, clap. Hi there. Okay, more fighting. We'll do it. Oh, it looks like it, alright, does it turn <laughs> <laughs> 
Trying to marry you. Okay. Cut them all. It certainly looks like it. Okay, let's get our lead on. No stopping now. Now, I want to go to inventory. I want to get some of these scrolls of restoration. Reduce person. Lightning. Move by blindness. Okay. Probably down here somewhere. Resist fire. Divine power. Freedom of movement. Haste. Magic missile. Come on, where's the scrolls of restoration? Raise dead. Enfeeblement. Okay. Cure. Ah, oh, there we go. So she's gonna get that. And I'm gonna use those then. Just letting the ink Let's go to your Okay. Yes, yes. And then use that on you. Yes, yes. Okay, and serious ones, yeah. You definitely should have a couple of those. And we're gonna give you a couple as well. Sure, can you? You can, okay. So you have two of those, or sorry, two of those. Then let's give you a couple of fireballs as well because that's going to be fun. And we're going to move on a little bit more before we end. So we could go this way first, I guess. Cobalt shaman clad in long flowing robes swaggers back and forth before the gathered troll and trolls and kobolds. His posture is proud, strict, and imbued with dignity. Borba words listen closely and speak after. S speak, the kobold student echoes shrilly, then snorts in what might be a laugh. The shaman stares at the student for a while, hissing wordlessly, then turns to the others. Gulb, eat. Or sorry, he should be gulb, eat. Gulb, eat. Now that was a troll, so that's a bit better. Eat. Barba, meat. Meat. Barba, meat. The shaman turns and sees you. His eyes go wide and he points his finger at you. Der Borba, kill meats. Kill meat. Okay, so I guess this guy is working against the whole revolution of not eating Borba. Be defeated. Right, so let's get we'll get this fight done and then we'll end the episode, I think. Okay, we got an archer there. Okay, that was pretty successful. And it's nice to have all that as well, thanks. Okay, now. Oh, this is where... I guess the thing comes in. Okay, we got the fish and oh, wow, and then full plate. Okay, what kind of full plate though? It looks really nice. Blessed path, heavy armor, full plate. 
Okay, enchantment plus two. This plus two full plate can only be equipped by good characters. It grants its wearer plus two enchantment bonus to wisdom and charisma, plus four sacred bonus on saving throws against compulsion, effects, and poison. Okay, so that's something to keep for Valerie. That's nice though. And let's have a quick look at this. The Shawls have been kind to these strange statues. Their purpose remain unknown. They certainly do. Okay, quick scatter around the room. Oh, and while we're doing that, um, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you all for joining me. I'm hoping that the audio has improved. Uh, fingers crossed, as it were, because I won't know until this is actually up on YouTube. So right now, I I suspect maybe it's better, but I'm not sure. But as I said, hope you enjoy and uh, or enjoyed, and hope to see you all next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.